Good morning, this is Larry McMillan with a stock market update on Monday, September 25th. Well, on Friday, uh, the market closed below 43.30, and you know that's a level that we've been talking about. So that's uh, definitely not a bullish sign. That's a bearish sign. And if it continues to close below 43.30, we will add to our, or we will create a core bearish position. Looking for the market to sell off sometime into October. Uh, those October sell-offs can sometimes be quite heavy. October has a reputation as a bear market uh, killer, which it is, but uh, oftentimes the market declines sharply at, in October to a, a trading bottom somewhere along the way. So if this close below 43.30 is confirmed with a second close below there, then that's what we'll be looking for. I realize there is some support on the chart at 4,200 in terms of the S&P, but I think this is the level that uh, most most people were looking at. Uh, we are oversold in, in a number of ways. Uh, one of those is in terms of breadth. Breadth has been really terrible um, in the last couple of weeks, and so our breadth oscillators are on sell signals, but they're in oversold territory. Now, it's going to take at least two or maybe even three days of positive uh, breadth advances, more advances than declines, to pull it out of that position, and I just don't know if it can really do that here in the short term. Uh, the McMillan volatility band buy signal that had been in place was stopped out, and a new one may set up later on, uh, but we have nothing, uh, no new buy signal in, in that uh, area right now. Equity-only put call ratios moved to a new relative high on Friday, so that's bearish for the market. When the put call ratios are going up, the market itself is going down. So that, uh, that's a confirmation or reconfirmation of previous sell signals in that area. In addition, new lows on the New York Stock Exchange have expanded tremendously, been running at more than 100 on most days, more than 200 in one day last week. And so that puts this indicator on the sell signal as well uh, from a, about a week ago, really. And so uh, the last buy signal we had from this indicator was quite strong and lasted for a couple of months. I don't know whether this one would last that long, but uh, there is a, still a potential that it will be a strong sell signal. So new highs versus new lows is now bearish. So that brings us to the volatility complex. The, the volatility complex has been bullish on stocks pretty much all along, and it's really not bearish yet. Um, it's sort of toying with some bearish things, but hasn't really done any, uh, any given any sell signals. VIX is in spiking mode, which means it's starting to rise. And uh, a rising VIX, it can be negative for the stock market. So while VIX is in spiking mode, the stock market can uh, fall. Eventually, though, a VIX uh, spike peak by signal would set up. Uh, perhaps more important is the trend of VIX. Uh, there's, that is still uh, in a bullish situation uh, and will remain so until VIX closes above its 200-day moving average, which is uh, just above 18 right now. So now, VIX is not far from there, but it hasn't closed above the 200-day in, in quite some time. So, um, overall, uh, oh, one more thing, the construct of volatility derivatives, which is the term structure of the VIX futures, that's uh, remaining slightly bullish uh, right now. It has not inverted. If it inverts, that would be a bearish sign, but that has not happened yet. So overall, uh, if, if S&P closes below 43.30 again, we're going to take a core bearish position, planning to hold that probably into uh, what may turn out to be an October low. And while you might think, well, that's not that far away, October, uh, the market can decline sharply when it gets uh, you know, rolling to the downside. In any case, uh, we follow these things daily in uh, some of our other newsletters, so I invite you to visit our website and take a look at those. And meanwhile, have a great week trading.